So in this video, what I'd like to do is I wanna talk about TOFs, otherwise known as timer off delays. We've already talked about timer on delays. We're gonna talk about timer off delays. Now timer off delays work when the rung becomes false. So meaning this rung right here in front of our timer becomes false. You're gonna see some problems with the way this program is built. Um, and that's why I have all these extra instructions up here. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this in multiple different ways. So that way you guys can see some stuff. Uh, a simple circuit like this is not very useful because the rung will always default back to false as soon as I'm not pressing the button. So the, it just kind of creates some issues. Um, you'll see it a little bit if you try to use this timer. It will always turn itself on as soon as you power up the circuit or turn on the PLC really. So otherwise, you, so you have to do some stuff with instructions to make sure that doesn't happen, okay? Um, but getting back to uh, the timers, um, they are in the timer tab. If you ever want to uh, go grab one, they're a TOF, uh, timer off delay. Um, and they work kind of the same way. Like I said, this rung has to become false for this timer to start. But some of these instructions operate a little bit differently, okay? So as soon as I press this button, the rung becomes true, which will reset the timer, okay? Okay. Now the EN will turn on immediately. And as long as this rung, or I'm sorry, as long as this, this instruction and this rung is true, the EN will be on, okay? As soon as I turn it off, or I'm sorry, this, this one will be true, and this one will be true too, okay? So as, as long as this one's, you know, I said is true, these two will be on. As soon as I let off the button and the rung becomes false, the EN will turn off, the DN will stay on. It will stay on until our timer has finished its time over here, so five seconds. At the same time that's happening, our TT will turn on over here for five seconds, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna run this one, and we're just gonna look at how these instructions work, and then we're gonna start playing with it and adding it in, doing some different stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press my green button, and I'm gonna hold it. So I pressed it and I'm holding it. You can see that the timer reset itself. You can also see that our EN is on and our DN is on. As soon as I let off, you're gonna see the EN turn off. Turns off, TN stays on, it's counting time over here. TN is on, boom, everything turns off. So that is the uh, stereotypical, like the very simple TOF circuit but it has some, some issues. Um, like I said, if I was to immediately download this onto my PLC for the first time, it, the rung would be false. So as soon as I use it, we're just gonna have some problems, okay? And, the, and you guys, maybe you'll, you'll get one on there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so what we're gonna do is I wanna go offline and I wanna start playing with this and kind of showing you some extra stuff we could do. So one of the big things that you might wanna do is you wanna make it a latching uh, circuit. So, oops, why did I even get this one out? We're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start taking my, my, um, my instructions and we're just gonna move them around. So I'm gonna use my EN to latch on my timer. So when I press the button, I'm gonna latch it so that the rung is true and stays true. Um, and that way when I turn it off, so we're gonna need an off button, then the timer will run. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this run because I no longer need it. So we're gonna go ahead and, and then the, this would be really a great um, system for if I had to turn something on, but when I turned it off, I wanted it to stay on for an extra five seconds or three seconds or an hour or something like that. Or maybe, maybe it's like a coolant system where we want the coolant to continue pumping through even after the heaters have been turned off or the, the motors have been turned off or something like that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and download. All right, so when I press the green button, you're gonna see it latch and you're gonna see that our, uh, our, our time is still at zero. Like I said, the DN is turned on immediately. So again, if this was a conveyor belt and we wanted to have it be on, but when we pressed the stop button over here, it would turn off the timer or would, sorry, it would actually start the timer, but in five seconds it would turn off our conveyor belt, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll hit the off button. 
See, it stays on for another five seconds before it turns off. So anytime you need to, you know, turn something off um, after you've turned, I mean, after you've turned the system off, if you need it to turn off later than that, this is how you would do it pretty much, okay? Now I want to be a little bit more sof or, uh, sophisticated here. And what if I had to do two things but they were based on a different time schedule, right? So say I wanted to have, I don't think I need two rungs here. Um, say I wanted to have a two conveyor belts and one conveyor belt needed to run longer than the other one, right? But I wanted it all to operate off the same, same button, okay? So we're gonna use some B3 bits now. So I'm gonna take my B3 bit here, I'm gonna put a B3 bit down here to turn on my timer, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn off, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna delete, this one because we no longer need it to latch and we're going to put this in place and I'm going to take my my TT out of here because we no longer need it for this one and I'm going to throw this other DN okay and we're going to go ahead and delete that all right so if I needed to run a conveyor belt and or two conveyor belts and I wanted one to stay on longer than the other one this is how I would do it go ahead and download Pretending that these are these lights over here are conveyor belts. Um, one will just stay on for five seconds longer than the other. So I'm gonna press my start button. It's going. Um, the system is on right now. There could be other things on. There could be you know other sensors that are added into these rungs. This is very base level here. Okay. As soon as I turn the uh, hit the off button or stop button, you're gonna see the one's gonna stay on for an extra five seconds. So that's pretty cool, right? So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to just show you guys what I want um, for this lab. You're pretty much gonna turn on a timer. You're gonna do a little bit of a latch. You're gonna play with some stuff, okay? So why don't uh, we go ahead and let's look at that on the trainer. So when I hit my green button or I press my green button, you're gonna see the red light turns on. It's going to stay on. It's literally going to latch. When I hit my stop button, it's going to time for five seconds, and then we'll see our stop, or our, our red button turn off, okay? I believe this was the second one I showed you guys with the EN latching it, so please go back and check that out if you need to. I'm really just trying to help you guys uh, get used to it. This should be a very simple activity for you to do. If you have any questions or need any help, uh, please let me know. These timers aren't used a ton, but if you know how to use them, you can do some kind of cool stuff with them. I'm not saying you have to use them, even in the labs that, after this lab pretty much, um, if you don't wanna use them, you don't have to, okay? You can do it all with a TON. I know some uh, programmers that believe that you do not need TOFs at, at all. So if um, you would go ahead and build this one for me, um, and then you know, go ahead and move on.